So this was an interesting week, you guys. Um, Nasdaq really handed my ass this week, um, especially on Wednesday, you guys. So I'm gonna just cut straight to the chase, you guys. I ended up blowing the account. I had a max of about five twenty or something like that, and I ended up blowing it. And so I ended up making another account on Wednesday, and on that same day, I made about four hundred and eighty nine dollars. And um, let's just show you guys what we're looking at real quick. So this is the new account. So First day made about 459. Second day made 134. And on Friday, didn't trade too much, did micros, made about 86, came out the market with about 86. And so we're sitting at about 680 in profit right now. We only we need about 1320 left, you guys. So let me just tell you something real quick, man. I have this has been very tough. It's been very, very fucking tough, you guys. I hate to continue making accounts and blowing them and stuff like that. But what I'm about to do is I'm about to show you guys. Something that is extremely, I think is going to be my thing, man. This is going to be my thing, you guys. And so th let me show you the pattern. I spent time actually going back in the chart for this week, going through the one minute and actually identifying the patterns that I like to use. And then I'm going to be start trading from now on, you guys. The rules are very, very strict at this point right now, right? Harlow, you need to chill out. She's trying to come in. She's over here messing with my window and stuff. So... What we're looking at, you guys, is this is a combination of ICT's 2022 model and model 12, right? That's what we're about to use. So if you see here, we and it, and it works best during swing highs and swing lows, right? So we did a turtle soup here, came down, ran down, came all the way back up, right? I typically I like to see the rejection of the order block. And so in this order block, we have a rejection block right here, you guys. So it didn't go all the way up here. It traded into the wick of this candle, so and it rejected. And then what we also looked for is we, we made some fair value gaps right here. Now, typically, in a trade like this, I would have wanted it to ideally come, come back to up, up here. But what I've realized and recognized is that with these big price runs, typically the higher fair value gap can be open. A lot, a lot of times it actually is left open. Those are my favorite setups, though. I would much rather get something like this because when you get a fair, when you when you trade off of this fair fair value gap, the stop would have to be somewhere up here, up here, and that's just too much drawdown, especially on the Nasdaq, you guys. So I typically would like to wait for a trade in this area, but the the pattern set up, man, it, it formed. So after this rejection of the order block, we came down here, formed a bunch of fair value gaps. You trade these fair value gaps, and you can just ride it out. Same for this one. Now, this one is a bit different, though, because typically what I like to do is, once again, I like to wait for swing highs and swing, swing lows. And, yes, this is kind of a bit of a swing low, but I would have preferred it to be, like, like really low. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, after all this this big run, yeah, we consolidated much of this, this area here, the buy side and the sell side. But I would have liked for it to kind of, I don't know, man. This still would have been a good setup, right? There's enough price action in here, nice en enough movement for this to be a decent trade. And so what we're looking at is we take out these lows right here, right? And so we then then we form a fair value gap right here. But me, I'm still looking for a rejection of this area, right? And so when we come down all the way here, we actually don't really hit this candle here, which I would have liked to see, but instead we still hit this fair value gap. And so for me personally, what I like, what I would have liked to do and what I would, this is a good, this is a good pattern. It's not exactly the pattern that I would look for, but this is still a good pattern because of how strong this buy side candle is, you guys, and the fair value gap here, it touched it, rejected, right? And then once it hit up here, I probably would have got in around somewhere up here, put my stops around down there, you guys, and then just like kind of rid it up to around, right about right here, right? So that's another decent trade. And this one, a really good trade right here, you guys. All right, so once again, same setup, you guys, right? Now, it depends on where you want to take it, right? Me personally, I personally would have like this right here. So right, so this right here, rejection of the order block down here, and then you form the fair value gap all the way up here. You could take that joint, ride that up, or this one, which is what I like a little bit better, is we form a swing, another swing low right here. We reject this area right up here after forming a fair value gap as well. And then you form a fair value gap up here. I would have waited for at least consequent encroachment for a candle like this and then traded somewhere down right here, buy it, bought it up, put a little stop down here or something like that. And then I only would have got about this much. But at, in that way, at least the trade is still very, very valid. Actually, right here, matter of fact, I'm tripping. Look, 
rejection of the order block and then fair value gap right here we get into it and then you put the stop down here and then you're up you guys and so that's what the setup is looking like man um, we're going to definitely do a lot more of these types of trades. I went back and highlighted all the areas where this is this setup is applicable at because it's it shows up many, many times. You guys, it shows up a lot and I love it. I love it. So that's what I'm going to I'm going to trade most of. And another thing, too, was I went through to see it. It's it's a very high probable trade. Like I, there's like the week setup made the week set up about 20 to 25 trades just like this that i'm looking for only one of them was a loss right here right i would have took this trade and i would have lost it it would have it would have it would have came back on me and so uh also i don't use any any indicators for real the, the, i do use indicators but not like the traditional indicators the only indicators i use to to show the ict kill zones and and just some some very nice snl levels right or some SNR levels, support and resistance levels, but not like in the traditional sense of support and resistance. I use open close, and yeah, that's really about it. I'm I, I, I'm pretty much a price action trader. Once I can really get really good at identifying these things, it's all coming off, and I'm just gonna be a straight up price action uh uh trader. Uh, I already I think I pretty much am because I don't even I think it's more complicated using the damn indicators than it is just to use price action in my personal opinion, but. Uh, yeah, that's what the setup is looking like, you guys, for this week. I think it's going to be a really good one. We're going to, we're going to test, we're definitely going to do this. I think I, this is going to be a good week because this pattern is very strict and everything has to align for it to really pan out for me. But now I know what I'm looking for. I like this. I really like this kind of setup and we're just going to wait for daily highs and daily lows. And then, uh, once the daily high once we hit a daily high or a daily low, we're going to look for this pattern to form. And we're going to trade it and we're going to ride it, man. And that's my bread and butter right there, you guys. So hope you have a good rest of y'all week, weekend, man. Next week, we're starting it up again. And um, hopefully, more than likely, I'm going to have some really good news for you guys, man. So let's, let's just keep it going, man. With that being said, it's your brother Trey. You guys stay up.